If online safety and security is of concern to you, then you probably already know what a VPN is. What's up, Questers? Today I've got a short video for you yet again, and I'm going to show you how you can install a VPN on your Oculus Quest. This is something I've been trying to do for a while and never been successful at, but this morning I was on Reddit and saw a post by someone saying that the VPN client they installed on the Quest actually was working. Now this could be due to the Firmware 17 update, I'm not 100% sure, all I know is I installed the VPN and it works and I'm going to show you how to do it. If you don't know what a VPN is, it stands for Virtual Private Network and I'll put a link in the description for more information. But essentially what it does is secures your connection and allows you to not have prying eyes and worrying about snooping and people tracking what you're doing through your internet connection and finding out your location. In today's day and age of constant connection and online communication, it's always a good idea to put up a barrier between you and everyone else. And this is what a VPN does. It essentially hides you and cloaks you so that people can't track what you're doing. There are also other benefits like stopping your ISP from throttling your connection, but I'll leave the link in the description for more information on all of that. This is super simple and super fast, but it does require side loading. So if you have not done that, I'll put a link down in the description on how to get that all set up for SideQuest. The first thing you're going to want to do is choose your VPN client. I personally use ExpressVPN, so I can vouch for that one working, and that's the one I'm going to use today to show you how to do it. First, head over to the ExpressVPN website and sign up for an account. If you can afford to pay by the year, you'll save a considerable amount of money. And if you're unsure about all of this, you can always go for one month. There is a 30-day money-back guarantee. Once you're all signed up and you put your payment information in, it's going to ask you to set up a password. So go ahead and set that password up. Once the password is set up, it's going to give you some options for installation. Now you can install this on multiple devices, but right now I'm just going to mention the Quest. What you're going to have to do is click on the Android tab and then click on Download APK. Once you've downloaded the APK, it's time to jump into SideQuest. So plug your Quest into your PC and then click on the Install APK from File or Folder. Navigate to the file where that APK is located and double click to install. Once the installation is all done, it's time to jump into the Quest. So let's grab our Quest and show you how to set it up. All right, so here we are inside of the Quest. Now, quick disclaimer, I'm going to go through this and show you how to do this. Some of this is going to be pictures through my lenses because the recording does not work once you get past a certain step. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Unknown Sources, and then you're going to click on Express VPN. Now, if I click on this, it's going to stop this recording, so let me explain what you're going to see right here in these pictures. This first picture is what you're going to see the first time you click on Express VPN. What it's going to try to do is flip the orientation like a phone, and uh, it might be a little disorienting at first, but that's okay. Uh, close your eyes for a second, and then as soon as it stops moving, hit the Oculus button and then exit out of that program, exit right out of X Express VPN. Once you've exited out of Express VPN, come right back to the Unknown Sources tab and hit that Express VPN yet again. Once you've clicked on the Express VPN in the Unknown Sources again, it'll pop up and it'll say set up your VPN. You're just going to hit OK. And then it'll pop up saying connection request Express VPN wants to set up a VPN connection that allows it to monitor network traffic. Only accept if you trust the source, you're just going to hit OK for this one as well. And then it'll pop up saying help improve Express VPN. This one's up to you. You can either choose to share your crash reports or not. I just hit no thank you on this step. And then it'll pop up and give you a smart location. This is going to be a location to a server that is close to you or the most optimized one, the best one that they think is best for you. You can always change that, but I just stick with the smart location. You're going to tap the power button at the top that says tap to connect. Once it's green, your connection has now been secured. So now hit your Oculus button and then tap on the home button. All right, to test and make sure that the VPN is actually working, we're going to hop over to the browser. So let's go here. We're just going to start typing in what's my IP address. I already have it in there, so you can just put what's my IP and then it'll pop up here. As soon as Google does its thing, it'll show here. Now, this is not my public IP address that I can see right here. I've got it blurred out just uh, for the uh, sake of security, but this is not my IP address. But to take it a step further, we can go to whatismyipaddress.com, and then you can see right there, well, you can't see the IP address, but I can see it, and it's definitely not my IP address, and it's saying my region is New York, and I'm not even sure how to pronounce that city. I'm nowhere near there, I can tell you right now. So that is definitely functioning properly. So there we go. That's successfully set up a VPN 
for your Oculus Quest. All right, so setting up a VPN on your Oculus Quest is as simple as that. A couple of quick notes. Number one, once you restart your device, you do not need to reactivate the VPN. It actually stays active until you hit that disconnect button by going back into unknown sources, going to ExpressVPN and turning it off. I've reset my device, turned it off, turned it back on, and it still is on when I go back into it and it's still working. So you don't need to worry about doing that every single time. Also, like I mentioned, that orientation shifting weird uh, application when it first starts does not happen every time. You only have to worry about it the first time. And once it's all done, once it's set, you're really ready to go because once you have it turned on, as long as you don't care about turning it off, then you can just leave it alone and it functions properly. Like I said, if you want to know more about VPNs and why it might be important for you to have one, then check out the link in the description. If you want to get the most out of your quest, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. Plus, you can check out more of my videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and happy questing.